Well, this will be the second rattlesnake that we've seen on the tour today.
a hike. Now, I know that everybody's got different opinions, but uh, just for me, it wasn't what I was looking for. I love hiking. Uh, I love being outside. I'm glad for the experience that I have. When you first leave out and you're uh, going down uh, going down the mountain, you're going towards Bald Mountain, but you go down, you come up, it's pretty strenuous. And then you uh, end up coming out to a, uh, to a Jeep trail. When you get up to the top, you make a left and you'll follow that Jeep trail for a pretty good while. I don't know, it could be, it could be two or three miles maybe. Uh, extremely rocky, extremely rough and uh, certain parts of it weren't wasn't too bad, but for the most part, most of it was was terrible. And you had to, uh, when you had jeeps or trucks or anything like that coming through, you didn't have a whole lot of space, so you had to move over out of the way, you know, and get in the woods. Some places it wasn't too bad, but some places it was it was pretty tight, and you didn't really have a whole lot of room to move around, you know, for the trucks and the jeeps to get by. Uh, I would say on on my hike there were probably I don't know, maybe somewhere between 10 and 15 uh, Jeeps and trucks that we had to move out of the way for for them to get through. And the trail is also not marked. Uh, it's not, uh, there's not a, uh, like a trailblaze for that hike. So you have to be extremely careful. Also, uh, the other thing too is, is there's other intersecting trails that you may find out there that are not on the map because they're older trails and they're just not kept up with anymore. Um, the St. Mary's Wilderness Loop Trail, the beginning of it doesn't look, you know, too awful bad. You can you can kind of tell that uh, in portions of it from the very beginning that uh, it's not maintained very well. But once you get out, you know, onto the other side past like the uh, the Jeep Trail, uh, and once you come back in uh, into the into the woods into the wilderness, you'll you'll see uh, that that section of it is uh, definitely not kept up and not well maintained. It'd be very easy uh, to maybe kind of lose uh, lose your path, especially if it's been uh, raining real real hard because some of the trail paths are, are kind of get um, run over with water. And so it can be kind of difficult uh, to find your way uh, if you're not too careful. Uh, but like I said, it, it is comp it is very overgrown, and so you'll probably get scratched up a bit. And whenever I was out there, we saw, uh, me and my dad went and we saw, um, I think it was a green snake. I just saw just a little bit of it as it went off the trail, but then we stumbled upon two rattlesnakes. And uh, one, uh, he didn't like our presence very much, you know, and he reared back and had his rattle go on the other one. Uh, was about the same distance away from us whenever we come up on him, but he didn't really seem to mind too much, but he just kind of went on through uh, across the trail. So we did run across two rattlesnakes that were on the trail. Uh, granted, you know, it was just, uh, I guess it's kind of what you didn't expect being out there in the wilderness, and we was it was in the beginning of June. So uh, just some things that you need to watch out for. Uh, when you do get, it's extremely rocky, but when you do get down, Towards the um, towards the other end of the hike of the Wilderness Loop Trail, you'll come out to a very nice uh, campsites out there. Where there's a lot of campsites, big, uh, huge creek that's running by, uh, and that area down there is extremely nice. Now, if you'll take one of those uh, spur trails off to the right, uh, you can go down to St. Mary's Falls. Now, we didn't do that, but I am planning on going down there uh, sometime soon. But um, but if you want to go back to your vehicle up on the Blue Ridge Parkway, then you just continue on the trail, make your way on up. Um, but, you know, uh, I did enjoy, I enjoyed the latter part of the hike better than I did the beginning or uh, or the middle or, or any of that. You know, the, the latter part of the hike was uh, still strenuous because you had to come back up to the Blue Ridge Parkway from the valley. But, uh, but the scenery was just beautiful. I really enjoyed that. Uh, but... It's not really a hike that I would probably recommend to a lot of people. Uh, even though I love hiking, I love being outside, and, and every hike is different. Um, but it's probably not one that I would 
uh, recommend that a lot of people go and um, but, you know, everybody's different, and uh, everybody has different tastes. But I am thankful for the experience, though, and if that's what you're looking for and that's what you want, then uh, then I say get out there and do it. Uh, but uh, anyways, that's my, uh, uh, that's my two cents on the St. Mary's Wilderness Loop Trail, and I hope I see you again.